I could wake up in the morning and be pretty happy and upbeat, but by the end of the night, I would be taking a razor blade, cutting my wrist, wanting to die. I just felt like I was living sheer hell on earth. Nicole Marbach spent six years of her life in and out of mental hospitals, tormented by childhood memories of sexual, physical, and verbal abuse at the hands of an alcoholic relative. I felt very unsafe and it caused so much fear and anxiety to happen in my life, but I couldn't tell anyone about it because I was afraid. By the time Nicole was 10, her mom had divorced and remarried. She started going to church and gave her life to Christ. Unfortunately, the abuse continued, as did Nicole's search for love and security. I believed God was mad at me because I was filled with constant negative thoughts that there was something wrong with me and that I was defective and that I was unlovable. By early high school, the abuse stopped, but now Nicole had found ways to cope, binge drinking, sex, and hurting herself. I started, you know, pulling my hair and banging my head against cement walls and pinching myself. And eventually I found a razor and cut myself. Nicole continued to drink in college and by the time she graduated, she had settled down, was married to Claude and soon had three children. She thought she had put her horrific childhood behind her until one day when she was changing her daughter's diaper. And it just, triggered so much pain and anger at the time because here I was a mother protecting my child and realizing that nobody protected me. Those memories also triggered something else. I started really hearing these negative voices in my head telling me to kill myself and telling me I was a horrible mother and telling me that my kids would be better off without me. Again, Nicole began binge drinking, and Claude soon found out and insisted they go to counseling. That's when he first heard about her abusive past. You know, what's difficult is how it's hurting us now. Certainly was, you know, disheartened, um, very sad, and, and I had a sense of loss also. Nicole was diagnosed with PTSD and bipolar and anxiety disorder, among others. Afterwards, she started cutting again. My mind was racing with such thoughts of self-hatred that one time I even took a razor blade and wrote in two inch black letters on my stomach, I hate me. Although medicated, Nicole would spend the next six years in and out of psych wards following numerous attempts to hurt herself. The torment, the confusion, the anxiety, the, um, the pain and the heartache that I would experience all of these negative emotions and confusion that wouldn't stop playing in my mind. And it became like kind of an unsurmountable mountain because it was too much. Personally despaired, but also despaired that she wouldn't be alive. Finally, the Marbox resigned to the fact they would have to live with Nicole's mental illness for the rest of their lives. Then in 2006, Nicole met a psychiatric nurse at a Christian recovery center. She shared with me that God wanted me well and that I could replace all of those negative thoughts and lies I was believing with truth from the word. I started hearing the voice of God speaking to me and telling me how much he loved me. And it just, I, I that confusion and mental torment just left. And I knew that I knew that I knew that I was healed and I was free. Nicole says right away she lost her desire to drink and injure herself. Also, in the coming months, she got off the meds and could be the wife and mother she and her family needed her to be. The sense of joy, the fun that we were having, you know, that's coming back. The ability to, to be the mom she wanted to be. She also began to discover who she truly was in Jesus Christ, receive his forgiveness, and forgive her abusers. As I received the love of God for myself, I was able to view my abusers through his eyes of love, and I was able to forgive them. I can't tell you 
how free I felt in that moment. It was like the icing on the cake of my healing, that I knew that I knew that I was healed and whole because of Jesus. And it's been 14 years of no medication. Thank you, Jesus. Ever since, Nicole has been free and now has a national and international ministry where she helps others struggling with addictions and mental illness. She's also written multiple books, including a devotional that share her journey of healing. People that think that mental illness cannot be healed, I would say to them, we've witnessed this. Continue to have hope uh, for the journey is not over and, and we've got all things are possible. Everything that I was searching for as a child and, a, and as an adult to find safety and love and protection, I have now found that in my relationship with God. I want to tell you that Jesus not only provided physical healing at the cross, but he also provided emotional healing and healing for mental illness. And I wanna encourage you that that healing belongs to you.